Thank you for joining me. I am Kevin Lentz, the senior pastor here of Trinity at Badger Ranch. And I appreciate you joining me for my Monday morning devotions when I do a sermon recap of what I preached yesterday in God's house. The gospel reading that I preached on yesterday was from Mark chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. And that reads, One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as the disciples walked along, they began to pick some heads of grain. Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He answered, Have you never heard what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? In the days of Abiathar, the high priest, he entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for priests to eat. And he also gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. So Jesus, in this uh, episode here, talks about kind of some of the opposition he faced. And his disciples were hungry. And so as a loving Lord, he wanted to have them fed. So they were going through the grain fields and uh, taking weeds of head off the, off the stalks and grinding them in their fingers and kind of popping them in their mouth. Well, I'm sure it might have helped their hunger just a little bit. But, of course, the Pharisees and others had problems with Jesus and, of course, his followers. So that's why Jesus gave the story from the Old Testament about Abiathar being the high priest. And David took the consecrated bread, which is not lawful for anyone to eat except the priest. But David's companions were hungry, so David wanted to feed them. So he, Jesus used that as an illustration of it's okay to I don't think break the law or bend the law, but it's okay to show more love and compassion than being uh, right on the mark of keeping the law perfectly, even if someone should be hurt. So Jesus' point there in verse 28 was, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. So the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath. His point was that God gave us commandments, a lot of commands, a lot of laws, but they're in particular say, Ten Commandments. Let's talk about them. Why did God give them to us? So he said, I'm going to make rules to make you hold to what I want. I'm going to be heavy-handed on you. As if, like, the commandments came first, then God said, I'm going to make people that have to keep them. That's the reverse order. God made people first. He loved them first. And then he gave his commandments to give us guidance, leadership, direction and how we can live our lives. We should still keep them, but it's more important that we practice love, even if it means bending a command or something like that for just for the sake of others' people. Jesus had no problem with his disciples doing what they did with the, with the wheat and popping it in their mouth. The others did. Jesus said, you guys just missed a point. God didn't give you commandments so that you can have to hold to rigorous and vigorous rules God gave you commandments because he loves you. And he wants to show you how you can lead your life to his honor and his glory. And so we give thanks for that lesson that Jesus taught. The rules were made for people. People weren't made for the rules. And so we give thanks for that lesson that God loves us and wants us to follow his commandments and his rules. But also God wants us to live in his love and always show that above all, you know, keeping the law, keeping the commandments perfectly. No, it's about being a child of God and loving as God loves. And Jesus taught that here in this lesson. And we give thanks for it because he opposed pretty important people to say it's about loving one another, not keeping the commandments perfectly. And we give thanks to Christ for that example. We're thankful for it. So thank you for joining me here today. I pray you have a good rest of the week and we'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.